Thank you. Okay, now this third question is about finding the area between two curves when the two curves are given in polar, co polar coordinate equations. Uh, first, you want to draw this to see what it means. Cardioid, if you plug in zero, you get four, right? If you plug in 90 degrees, cosine 90 degrees is zero, so at on the 90 degree one, you get two. And then we know that the cardioid goes like that, hits the origin at 180 degrees, comes back out, and has this symmetric form. So that, that's the shape of the cardioid. Now what, what about r equals to 3? r equals to 3 means the radius is equal to 3, uh, meaning that you're, you're collecting all the points that's distance 3 from the origin. So if you try to draw all the distance 3, here's 3, here's 3, here's 3, negative 3 actually, uh, negative 3 here. And if you, if you draw this circle, you get this shape. And now you can see which domain lies, which domain I'm talking about when I say in the first quadrant, the area between the cardioid and the circle. It's really this thing here. Now, we know where this domain begins. It starts here, which is theta equal to 0. But what we are not so sure of is where do they meet here? Now, to find the intersection, you just set them equal to each other. So that, that same thing applies here. You, R is 2 plus 2 cosine theta. R is equal to 3, set them equal to each other. 2 cosine theta is equal to 1. Cosine theta is equal to 1 half. At what angle does cosine become 1 half? 60 degrees. And in, in terms of radians, this is pi over 3. So you know that uh, the rays that hit this region starts from theta equal to 0 until at, when it passes through this point, which is pi over 3. And in order to find the area enclosed, you have to use polar coordinate integration, double integrals in polar coordinates. Just like that, you have to do um, dA over this domain that we just drew. And whenever you write dA in polar coordinates, remember it's always r dr d theta. And since we have dr inside, that means we're using, we're trying to paint this region in radial direction. So we're trying to paint this region in ra radial direction like that, where you begin at this curve and then you end at that curve. So where do you begin? What, what's the equation for this curve inside? r equals to 3, right? r equals to 3. Where do you end? The outside curve has the equation given here, which is 2 plus 2 cosine theta. And then theta starts from 0 and ends at pi over 3, as we just have calculated. Now to actually calculate this, it's quite messy, but let's try to do this. Uh, r, if you integrate, that's 1 half r squared. You have to plug in 2 plus 2 cosine theta and 3 inside r. So you end up with 1 half 2 plus 2 cosine theta squared um, minus 1 half times 3 squared. You have to plug these in and you subtract. Now, if you expand this square uh, by foiling or, or using the formula, I, I think everyone knows this formula, a plus b squared is equal to a squared plus b squared plus 2ab. 
says I'm supposed to be doing square the first, according to that formula, which is 4, square the second, which is 4 cosine squared theta. And you have to double the product, double of the product, right? So you, you do twice of the product, which is 8 cosine theta. This is what you get if you expanded this, if you used FOIL. Okay, and then this is 9 over 2 d e theta. Okay. 4, you, you don't have any trouble integrating. Cosine theta, there's no trouble integrating. The only thing that, that will be you know, a little hard to integrate is this cosine squared. To integrate this cosine squared, you need to use this formula that we discussed a, a moment ago. Cosine squared theta is 1 plus cosine 2 theta over 2. Okay. So this is what we will do. Multiply 1 half through, so it's 2 plus 2 cosine squared theta, but 2 cosine squared theta is 1 plus cosine 2 theta. 1 half times 8 cosine theta is 4 cosine theta minus 9 over 2 d theta. Okay. 2 plus 1 is 3 minus 9 over 2. That's negative 3 over 2. If you integrate negative 3 over 2, you get negative 3 over 2 theta. If you integrate cosine, you get sine. And if you integrate cosine 2 theta, you get 1 half sine 2 theta. And you have to plug in the endpoints pi over 3 and 0. If you plug in pi over 3, that gives you a negative pi over 2. If you plug in pi over 3, sine pi over 3 is radical 3 over 2. And times 4, that's 2 radical 3. Sine 2 pi over 3, believe it or not, is the same as radical 3 over 2 again. So it's plus 1 fourth radical 3. And if you simplify this, you get negative pi over 2 <coughs> plus 9 over 4 radical 3. And what's really important is whenever you get your answer, make sure you get a positive number. Because if you get a negative number, that means you made a mistake somewhere, right? So rad 3 is about 1.7. 9 over 4 is slightly bigger than 2, right? Twice of 1.7, 3.4. It's about 3.7. I, I don't know. Something like that. Pi over 2, what's that? Pi is about 3. Half of that is 1.5. So if you do 3.7 minus 1.5, that's positive, right? So we can kind of believe this result to be true. Thank you.